Hey guys, Beast from Beast Toys here coming at you this evening. Going to do an opening of a Diamond Select Stormtrooper Disney Store exclusive. Uh, just got these in today. This thing comes with blaster, blaster pistol, uh, blaster rifle, mouse droid, extra hands, and it's even got a little red blaster. Uh, this is supposed to be like 7 inch I believe. Just a slight bit bigger. I'll show you a quick comparison in just a minute. Once I get going. Um, I don't have a lot of battery on my phone. I put it up to charge about an hour, hour and a half ago. And lo and behold, I go up there a minute ago. My wife's like, oh, I took off the charger because I wanted to charge mine a little more. Oh, gee, thanks. So, oh, inside the box. Imperial emblem. There's the back side. If you want to see. All right, I'll check this bad boy out. I'm kind of excited. I always like storming. It comes with extra hands, I said, and I just dropped one. Guess I should open this way. I'm not 100% sure. What the best line of the best approach is. So, let's see. Starting to get some oh there's tape up here. That would help. I'm starting to get somewhere. Here's stuff falling out. Um, I hope I don't lose anything. Well, he's out. Got a couple of hands. Well, I'm only finding three hands. Must have dropped one somewhere. Oh, no, that's not it. Where in the world did it go? One, two, three. Oh, maybe you only have three hands. I'm sitting here looking around. One, two, three. Oh, guess he only has three. All right, well, let's check him out. There he is. So, in comparison to the Black Series, I um, actually may like the, this compared to the original mold that I always talk about. I don't know about the new one. Here's the new. Oh, yeah, definitely a lot bigger. Definitely. But now, the new, this new mold, the new mold, the new model is already a bit smaller than the original um and it's buried but it's not much bigger anyway but uh yeah very cool so we have three hands there's the mouse droid and it doesn't roll i think the black series one actually rolls comes with this big blaster rifle i always want to pull that thing down and use it as a whatchamacallit, but I don't think it's made that way. I look at it all the time. I don't think the Black Series one. And then here's the this blaster pistol. And then, of course, his E11 blaster. So we're going to throw that in the holster for now. Move his arms. We are going to holster this one, if it'll holster good. Oh, I'm assuming that's what this holster was meant for. Um, that's what the old, that's what the Black Series ones are. I know at times it's tricky to get them in there. It can't be for the blaster pistol. Whew. That's not, that's rough trying to get that sucker in there. So, this is a little tricky and tight. So be careful trying to get it in. Well, break him or mess his arms up. Here's his hands. Looks like he's waving with both hands. We need to change that out. We need one that will hold a weapon.
do like the changeable parts on these things, although I've got a bad habit of just saying, oh, I like the way it is. Well, I can on these because I've got to have something. See, now I do like him being able to have this blaster pistol. Here's his wave hand. See, and it appears you can put this blaster on any piece. Maybe. You can't see. My oh, eyesight's terrible. No, it's too big for this one. Uh, B11, yeah, probably, and this one especially. Actually, it looks like it's a little big on the end for some reason. Let's see if I can get the fit. And... There we go. I got it in that one. Probably just keep those like that. Probably going to take out both waving hands. Oh, well, oh, there it is. It's like, I guess I picked up the wrong one. I like how they got these all set up where you can move them around. Kind of like this, yep. Oh, man, I just like Stormtroopers, I'm telling you. And the more I get, and this one's this one's made pretty good. Um, the helmet underneath has something. I don't think you'll be able to see it from this view. It's really difficult, but there's similar to these with the head design underneath. Um, yeah, still, still very cool, very sturdy piece. I like these a lot. I'm going to probably open one of the other one. I'm going to keep one. I got one I set over there in the box. My best one I kept. And I think I'm going to open two of these. Um, yeah, this guy. Yeah, compared to this, I mean, that's a good inch plus. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? Yep, he is. But uh, still love the Black Series mold um, a ton. Still love this figure. Um, I'll, like I said, right now, as it stands, this is one of the best figures in the line. Um, and I know I sound silly probably saying it, but I'm just telling you. So, all right, well, hey, there you go. Um, let's see how this blaster rifle fits in his hand. See if it fits okay. Or as I say in his hand. Is just, when you add this piece, like, you know, well, the Boba Fett has that as well. It makes it heavy. So he can't, it's hard of a hard time holding. Probably be better if I put, now I can probably keep it in here and hold it if I get his waving hand and put it underneath here. Kind of reminds me of the look from Battlefront, the first one on PS1. I have to look at that. I think this is the blaster he had. Anyway, so I'm gonna give him back his hand blaster, but I'm gonna put him in with my uh, other Stormy. So for now, but yeah, very cool, very cool. Disney uh, Diamond Select figures are pretty nice. I mean, I think the price point on the these are a little high. I guess you're paying for the mouse droid. My assumption, thirty four ninety nine. Um, my Boba Fett and Darth Maul, I think, were under were twenty six ninety nine. So I mean, that's a better price point. I would probably consider buying several more if they were about ten to ten bucks cheaper. Like this was twenty four ninety nine. I would probably buy a handful more um, at some point, maybe. But uh, as it stands, yeah, these the, the three that I got and the two that I'll likely open one more will be fine um, for now. 
like I said, these guys are big. They're compared to the short stormtroopers. Yeah. But a uh, very cool piece. This is the third, to my knowledge, of these Diamond Select figures. These are basically seven inch figures. Um, very cool. Uh, actually, here's an eight, what they called an eight inch Mando. Let's see him standing up next to him. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm really starting to look and think. When I stand him side by side, he's more than an inch taller. But this set at eight inches when I bought it. Um, bought this one. Big lots. And then, here's the five inch one. Now, see that? No, that looks about like a two inch difference. So, I don't know. Weird. Maybe this guy's taller than eight inch. I don't have a... Uh, what you might call it to measure so anyway all right guys well there you go diamond select disney uh store exclusive uh stormtrooper like i said very cool very sturdy very heavy duty uh not a light figure like i said compared to this guy several ounces more probably i don't know three or four or five ounces more i know that don't seem like a lot but it is when you compare the size of the figure so Anyway, so there you have it, guys. I had more to open, but my phone's about dead, so I guess I'll do some more openings tomorrow. I've got a barbecue, a trapper wolf figure. Um, probably not going to open my cantina showdown at the moment um, until I decide what I want to do with it. But anyway, so there you go, guys. Um, as always, hit that like and subscribe button. You want to watch more of my videos of an unboxings and uh, comparisons, so to speak. And... Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'm Beast from Beast Toys. We'll see you.